Well, Donald Trump has taken a GOP by storm, and a big question now, is he just simply creating a new Republican Party? Uh, and, of course, if that's the case, he's going to continue to frustrate the establishment. Donald Trump, uh, listen, he's been deeply pessimistic about America's prospect here at home and abroad, and that's a reflection of where Americans are right now. It was the same thing under Ronald Reagan in the 1980s. The old Republican Party supported free trade, uh, NATO's commitment to the Soviet Union, and amnesty. But this is, by the way, Ronald Reagan who came in with some of these ideas, and he presented them during a famous, famous um, uh, debate uh, with, with George Bush. So a lot of people calling Donald Trump the new Ronald Reagan, but certainly there were certain differences. So can both men still have the same place in history? Are they both going to change the Republican Party? Back with me, Luis, Mark, Peter, and Christian White. And Christian, uh, you know, you're a historian. You, you, you understand, we understand the parallels and why people make the comparisons. Are they, are they accurate? No. I mean, first of all, Ronald Reagan was a gentleman, and Donald Trump is loathsome. Uh, second of all, Reagan shaped the party by winning the nomination and then winning two very big victories. I still think Donald Trump doesn't get the nomination. I think he loses once you get into second and third ballots in Cleveland. If he were elected, he would lose resoundingly to Hillary Clinton. So there's no way to shape a party, really, by losing radically. And then, as you point out, these or these um, uh, exceptions to uh, what Republicans, what works well with Republicans, you know, um, T candidates like Ted Cruz have outlined Reagan as policies on taxes, a flat tax for individuals, a flat tax for businesses. Donald Trump hasn't done that. He's really not conservative, but, but, uh, and the establishment would probably just co-opt him. But here's the, here's the point, though, uh, the, uh, Peter, and, and maybe Christian just underlined it for the audience. The public, the GOP grassroots public, is saying we reject those things. We reject that orthodoxy that, that's ruled our party for the last 30 years, and it hasn't helped. They said they, they've had this eye-opening experience, an epiphany, if you will, with Donald Trump, and it's time to remake the Republican Party, Peter. That is exactly what Ronald Reagan did. He rejected the party of Richard Nixon and Henry Kissinger. Remember how he railed against Dr. Kissinger and the way they negotiated with this old Soviet Union? Now, uh, Donald Trump is saying the parameters, the atmospherics have changed, and America must change to address a new world and new challenges. And, frankly, the neocons have got their feet planted firmly in the past. He's not going to necessarily lose at right. the convention. After Indiana, he may well be the presumptive candidate. And Republicans better start asking themselves, why has this man struck such a chord when their stellar lineup of governors got no place? You know, here's the thing, Louise. Uh, Louise, it's, it's, you think about this. Listen, the Republicans were given uh, the House and the Senate in the midterm elections. Uh, they have most of the governorships around the country. Uh, the Republican voter feels like that they've given the establishment an opportunity mm -hmm. and, the op and the establishment simply let them down. Bottom line. Well, that's why Ted Cruz has been winning those conservative states. And really, Donald Trump lied to the people, didn't well, he? He won. came out. No, Donald, you can't, but you can't Donald Trump came out. how many states Donald Trump has won. Oh, you, come can't, on. you can't diss the achievement, can you? Well, I can because to New Hampshire and people before his famous debate where he said he was being flexible, he said he was going to build a wall. He said he was anti-immigration. Then he went to the New York Times and said, I was just fooling the people. I don't mean any of those things. Now we hear he's going to take people out and let them back in. That's called touch the bottom line, though, real quick, Mark, is that the bottom line, though, is forgetting about the candidate. That message is what the Republican voter wants to hear. That's what they're embracing. Walls, better trade deals, and some of the things that used to be core Republican issues, they're rejecting. It is the failures of the past, Charles, that have gotten us to this point. And where I think the comparison between Trump and Reagan can be accurate is using economics in the world for leverage. Right. You know, everything Donald Trump talks about in terms of world leadership is using economics for leverage, which Reagan did so well. All right, guys, Ronald Reagan and Donald Trump, the debate goes on, uh, and, it's, and the network goes on. Thank you for watching. Now, Lou Dobbs.